Okay, next item. We'll go to uh, urgent care feasibility. Yes. Oh, please, go ahead. Uh, citizens on Brown Street and yeah, express concern about those two streets hear. there. Are they yeah, in your mic's not over. Right. Mm -hmm. Citizens in the Brown Street community had expressed concerns about uh, the holes in that street over there. I uh, got a call from some citizens and uh, disappointed that they are not here because I expressed to them they need to come to the council meeting because we get a lot of requests. The only thing I can do is pass it on. And I know that the, the street is in terrible condition because when we campaigned through there, I drove a truck and it was difficult to drive a truck through there. There were craters over there. So they've asked us. Ms. Whitehead, I think they had a meeting and invited you to, you went to it. We had a special call meeting. But they have asked that we try to do something about this street. Uh, it's in very bad shape. Also, the Blanchett Apartments behind St. Mark Church at the end of that street, they said that the street is in terrible condition. Just about in place where we need to just level out whatever's left and pack it and turn it into dirt until we can repave it or resurface it. So that was brought to me by two different sets of constituents. I apologize when I mentioned it earlier. They said that's in critical condition in those two spots. But I do remind citizens, if you have a concern, it's good to let us know. It's strong when you come yourself. I did ask the citizens from the Brown Street community and the Housing Authority who brought that forth. I think it was Ms. Persons that mentioned it. Uh, she asked me about something that was done and we appreciate the city doing, Mr. City Manager. But I said, if you have concerns on other streets, we need you and your citizens to come. But those two streets specifically were mentioned in terms of how bad shape they are. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, great. Uh, other council concerns, I'm sorry. And I attended that meeting for just a little while, this person and her group. Only two, got, two people were there when I was. But uh, Brown Street and the whole um, project area just put a hole. You can't hardly walk down the streets. So it's really legit what they're saying. And uh, when I campaigned over there, I saw it then. I told them I would try to do what I could to get something done. So we still are working on trying to at least put some gravel or something. It's in really in bad shape. And Mr. City Manager, <coughs> Mr. Doug Nicholson's family, and Ms. White, Ms. White here, yeah. uh, they're concerned about when they're going to get the memorial
Also, another uh, concern that I had, well, it's not really a concern, it's more of a suggestion. It was brought to me by Mr. Oscar Austin, who's sitting here today. And uh, it is for, in preparation for football season this year, to show unity between the university and the, Tus and the city of Tuskegee. Maybe we can do something uh, like they, I've seen in other cities where they paint uh, part of the road with tiger paws and other things around town to just welcome all the students in one to Tuskegee University um, and to welcome people who are gonna be who are gonna be coming to the football games. And I don't know if uh, Oscar wanted to address he, he had uh, some some very good suggestions. If you all know Oscar you know he's he's Mr. Tuskegee in a lot of ways, always at every event. Uh, so it's always good when people, you know, are proactive about bringing suggestions to the council in, in ways that they think that we can do our job. Uh, please, you're on the How are you doing, Mr. Mayor, City Councilman, fellow uh, citizens of Tuskegee? I also brought the SID for Tuskegee University, the Monica Scott, as well. And what our plan or suggestion is, is if you go to Auburn, before you come down College Street, the whole city is going to move. So when you welcome in freshmen, when you welcome in upper class, and you want them to stay in the city of Tuskegee, it needs to look like Tuskegee, basically. So our plan is to talk to the, uh, Chris Lee and a couple of city councilmen. What we, we're thinking about doing is painting tiger paws that lead to the campus. 